video was requested by many of you everywhere on all different platforms. I've gotten requests on Facebook, on Twitter, on YouTube, on Tumblr. I've literally gotten requests for this video all over the place, so I'm finally doing it because I just cleaned up and kind of reorganized and revamped my room. So I'm going to be doing a room tour! Yay! So let's go! Okay, so you're probably used to seeing something like this behind me when I'm filming and I'm usually sitting right here in this wonderfully covered desk chair. <laughs> so um, we'll just get started over here where you enter my room. Here's my door with all my lovely robes and jackets and hats and weirdness hanging on it. I have an umbrella I got in Disney World that saved my life many times from the torrential downpours that Florida has. Here's my Michael Jackson fedora, my Jessica Rabbit hat because I, uh, I absolutely love Jessica Rabbit, and then my Nightmare Before Christmas hat that I got in Disneyland when I first went there. And up here I have my dream catcher that I'm like really superstitious about. Back on this little wall I just have um, this dry erase board that has nothing on it right now and then my keys and nonsense. Then this little thing down here, it's just like I use it for my door stopper. It's just full of random coins from around the world. And then we have my little hobbit door. It's like a little Easter bunny door though because it has Easter eggs on it and carrots so it's kind of funny like I love it. Over here this is my closet and it has this Hello Kitty hanging on it. This is a ghost Hello Kitty. Could you get more me? Like seriously, I love creepy and cute and this is like the best combination of both worlds. I'm such a Hello Kitty fanatic and for this to be a ghost is just like amazing. These are like the gift tags that came on this Hello Kitty and I just stuck them on my door because I love that they were ghosts. This is my giant, my giant rainbow octopus that he makes the best floor pillow and just, he's a squishable and he's so, so legit and so huge and I'm knocking into my lamp while doing this and making my chime go. Oh, I'm wearing some M&M slippers, by the way. And then we have my pink desk. This is where I keep like my laptop and my craft books. And then on top we have a couple of ballerina music boxes that my grandma got me, my little um, ode to my cat Violet who passed away last year. We have um, my Animal Crossing jewelry box, which has all kinds of like nerdy things in it. Oh no, the door's, the door's not gonna open for me, but yeah, it has like a bunch of nerdy, like plastic jewelry that I've gotten from conventions and stuff in it, so that's pretty cool. Here I have my crochet Gooba doll. She's actually musical, so I could actually show that off. I don't know if I can do this one-handed, but she has like a little music box back here. Oh, I don't know if I can do this with one hand. Oh, I kind of can. It's really hard to do with one hand, but it plays Music of the Night from Phantom of the Opera. And then this is um, my big bunny with my tiara from when I was a senior in high school. This was my favorite toy as a child. This is Mrs. Ducka. I love church. I love going to church. I love singing in church. Like, this is just kind of my own personal little tribute to that. And then this angel was from my grandma's funeral. This was a gift given to me at her funeral. This is kind of like a memorial desk, I guess. Up here we have my Sunset Boulevard poster, and this kind of goes with the rest of the shelf because I was in this musical while my grandma was in the hospital. This is kind of a tribute in itself because this musical will always hold a special place in my heart. We all got personal flyers for being in the musical. That's mine, and then we had these at our windows or not our windows, our mirrors in the dressing room. So this is like all sentiment. And then here my chime that you can see on my lamp is of my cat Violet as well. It's like a little memorial chime to her. Down here is usually where I keep my slippers, but we've also got 
uh, crusty and scratchy. This has just like a bunch of bags in it and a lot of them are like this so it's like really puffy. This is my cheetah backpack I got in Disney World, it's so cute! Here is my Wario doll that I made. This is my other favorite stuffed animal from childhood, it's my first Build-A-Bear. This is Coco, he's my horse, he's my favorite, I love him. And then we have my Madame Wario colored Hello Kitty back here. And this is all next to my bed. This is like my bed area. This looks like a couch because it's a day bed. Hope is gonna make a cameo. This is my kitty Hope. Say hi Hope. She's basking in the sun right now. So over here, I just have this hook with some necklaces on it. And then right here, this is the collage of collages. This is a work of art. Like I have put so much crap on this. It's insane. This started out as a PAX memory board that turned into a... It never stopped being a PAX memory board. I just like piled stuff on top of it. So everything from my first PAX is still on there. Along with all this other stuff. Like I believe this is from the first thing I bought in Disneyland. Like here's my business card. Like this is from the second PAX. Uh, this is something from school when I had to cosplay as Bellatrix. Um, I have a bunch of pictures of all my friends on here. This is like a really awesome cosplayer. Um, I have my ticket from the Boston Ballet. Ticket for ooh, Magic Mike XXL. Remember this? This is from a subscriber special when I, I LARPed Mario Party. That's what that's from. So this is just like a huge tribute to the past several years and things I love. And then up here we have my Butterfree Trio. That's from my Paper Mario Playathon, the Lantern Ghost. That's the Critical Chicks logo. And then next to that is from my How to Make a Lumpy Space Princess. Here I have my giant purple spider because I love spiders and bees and so I have spiders and bees on my bed. Um, <laughs> and then I have these big crochet donut pillows I made. Here's my little ice cream bunny I made recently. Oh, Hope has moved. She is now in the bee's lap. So I have a big bee and then I have a little bee over here. And then we have my alpaca. He's actually signed by Richard Horvitz. You probably know him more as Zim, Invader Zim. So you probably know him as Zim. And then I have signature from Mega Ran, who is an amazing video game rap artist. Then up here we have more candy. We have this little Zero, which is so, so super old. And then we have my customized Hulip. I'm gonna have to climb on my bed to show you guys this. This is a doll that used to be Audrey Hepburn. I customized her. I took her brown eyes and made them one purple and one blue. This is the blue eye, that's the purple one. I redid her makeup using colored pencil and paint. I made this little Gothic Lolita outfit for her. And this is Alice. She's supposed to be kind of like a gothic Lolita Alice in Wonderland sort of girl. Then I have my little felt bear. I made him fairly recently as well. And then my Hello Kitty Pulip doll. I love dolls and Pulip dolls. They're all over the place for me. But up here we just have a couple cool little pictures of like cameos. This is um, from an artist that my sister and I stood outside of her booth at Ohio Con and squealed for like 10 minutes before I was like, okay, I need to stop squealing and just buy this picture because it's amazing. My favorite rosary is just hanging on the wall. And then, let's see, we have like this flower garland. There's my view from my room. How exciting. Woo. Um, this frame right here, this was a gift from my good friend Cholsey91 for graduating. She sent me this as a graduation gift and I love it. She made it. She like put this whole collage together and then put all these pictures in it. You probably remember my alarm clock also from A Night in the Life of Me. And then we have my desk. This is my desk area right here. I have my desktop. I have my business cards in the little card holder I got from my All-Star Creator Conference this year in Disney World. Here we have a, a sweetheart. This little coaster right here, it's of like baby Wario. So there you go. I made this out of just yarn and plastic canvas. And then that's usually where I keep my water bottle. And then we have this like rosy lamp back here. Then here's my pink 3DS. This cup, this is my pen cup that I got in Disney World that um, it's from Gaston's Tavern. So this is super duper cool. It's just a thing of like this 
crap, I don't know, stapler, like note cards, whatever. Alright, so there's my phone with the beautiful shattered screen. Isn't that gorgeous? I know. It happened like over a year ago too and it's still like that. Down here I just have like journals. This is my gaming bank where I'll put like $2 a week so I can get the games I want when they come out. This is like my gaming corner which is sandwiched between my two dressers so this has like all my clothes and crap in it here we have some books they're ironically like kind of all children's books right now I only put out the books that I haven't read yet so I'm in the middle of reading book three of Choco Mimi here we have some Harry Potter books because I love Harry Potter and I've even got my Bellatrix wand down here here's my pygmy puff from Harry Potter world and that is actually a cameo silhouette I had made of myself while I was in Disney World. There's my cat Violet. This is just a candle holder and this is like a little cat tin I've had forever. Here are my three little bunnies over here. This one's from the Boston Ballet Nutcracker. This one I got for Easter and then this one was I got for Christmas last year. Oh, I forgot to show off my spider web full of earrings. I love the spider web, it's so cute. Back here we have, this is my big, this was actually a popcorn, popcorn bucket I guess, but I got this in Hollywood Studios in Disney World. Oh my gosh, I just knocked Pinky down! <laughs> this is my Pinky figurine I made out of a calico critter, and she chills next to my favorite Castle Crashers character, which is the pink lollipop fighter. Um, and this little carriage down here, this is actually a jewelry um, case, but my grandma's ashes are actually in that, so that's very, very sentimental and meaningful, and I like that the two carriages are next to each other. And then we have Gooba, because why not? She needs to go on my gaming shelf. And then we have my gaming shelf, oh my god. This has like all the controllers and headphones and random crap I use in it. Here's my Xbox, my N64 with... Oh, Mario Party, how appropriate. And um, then we have Pokemon Gold is clearly in there. I don't think anything's in my my GameCube right now. And then my Wii U, and what the heck is back there? Oh, Lucky Star. Thank you, Lucky Star, for being there. Over here we have my one board game, which is Oogie Boogie Operation I got for Christmas last year. Here's my Wii over here. And back behind there you can kind of see there's like a million cords, so I kind of hide that area, but I have some dance trophies just kind of squished randomly in there because I don't really know what to do with them at this point. They're from my senior year of high school, which was like six years ago, so. Here's my little Petro. He chills on my TV stand. Um, I'm filming this on August 27th. I doubt it'll go up that day, but whatever. Guess what? I filmed it that day. I love this. This is my little, um, Spirited Away calendar. But I'm gonna go up here really quick and show off this. This is my first pair of point shoes. It even has my signature from when I was younger. And then down here, these are point shoes from my favorite ballerina, Irina Komarenko. These are her point shoes she wore in the Nutcracker one year while I performed in it with her, which was amazing, and I'm so lucky I got her shoes. Here's a mirror, woo! And then over here we have my big dresser which leads back to where we started. Here we have another like rosy lamp. I love these like rose lamp shades. Um, here's a couple pictures. This is from my favorite area in my house, which was my swing in the backyard. This is me as a little girl. I just had this in my room when I was little and I never changed it. And then this is my kitty, one of my kitty's cookie. And then here's my Taeyang doll which is the male version of a Pulip doll, and this is Edward Scissorhands because I love Tim Burton and that's one of my favorite movies. Here we have just like perfume and nail polishes, my piggy bank where I keep all my pennies. This is a Britney Spears doll because I absolutely love Britney Spears. These are all memorial snow globes to animals I have lost. This is cookies, this is violets, and this is goobas, and it has like the dates. It has the dates that they passed on it, and then this is another like jewelry box. So, and it's really pretty, it sparkles a lot. Uh, back here we have my moon bank, where I keep like, I try to keep only like silver coins in it, so I'll keep like dimes and nickels and quarters. Then we have um, Jeremy Fisher, I love Beatrix Potter, I'm a huge Beatrix Potter fan, I grew up with her, I love her. Um, there's a little clock, there's a picture of me and my oldest sister, my favorite Barbie in the entire world. Here I have a nesting doll because I love Russian nesting dolls. Here's my cowboy hat from my trip to 
Gatlinburg, Tennessee this year. And then this is my light switch. It doesn't really do anything right now because my lamp is connected to a power strip and it doesn't make, it makes this not work, but it's the Marauder's Map from Harry Potter. And with that, that is my room. So I hope you guys have enjoyed this really detailed room tour. I didn't really mean to go into as much detail as I did with things, but I think it's kind of interesting. So uh, whatever, it's fine. Now you guys know about all the little things in my room. We'll say hi to Hope once again, because she is still snoozing in here. Oh, I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry I woke you. Um, but anyway, yeah, that's gonna do it for um, my room. I hope you guys like my room. If you have any questions, I guess feel free to leave them in the comments. And thanks so much for watching. I'll see you in my next video. Bye, pimps!